my good and well met. I'm Eric here, Galadirth, and head with Varden Conquer, and welcome back to the Northern Dunedain campaign, where we hope now to finally crush the forces of Angmar and to send yes, the scheming lord. and disgusting filth of Dunlan to their graves. My lord. So we shall continue from where we left off. A reinforcement army is being prepared in our capital of Fenestrian and <coughs> Sorry, do excuse me again. And it will head south to help cleanse the lands of Dunland. Interesting to note that Fenestrunen is a creation of, I believe, the Lord of the Rings Online, possibly a Lord of the Rings card game. One of the two. Whilst it is recorded that Dunedain live in an Egladil or the Angle, um, Fenestrunen and the name, location, and the, and the nature of the city are all fictitious. Oh, Gareth Allen got a university. Very cheeky. Northern Thyabad's getting a library. We'll leave that with the barracks. Although we'll take some crop rotation and a leather worker. Swap them around. Uh, Bari Donny Orak has got a Dunedain encampment. We'll take some roads, please. In a while, of course, because that's going to take some time. Your order. All right. Your order. Keep heading north. Build us those towers. Once he's yes. built towers, he'll gather the army from Fornost and attack Captain Brathor, the traitor. Ah, Dinadir has not. Dinendir has not abandoned us, which is nice. Get him to that fort where he can await the arrival of our. Ah, oh, that's very interesting indeed. Uh, interesting because I got five minutes into this recording and was interrupted and had to start again. But in the first time I did this, a large force of the Misty Mountains crossed the river and was standing at the crossroads. And this time they're not. So it shows you how different each playthrough can be. Although we have the same situation here in Angmar, which we hope to now crush in glorious battle. Glorious battle that makes it sound like something this... this we've become the uh, Soviet Socialist Republic of Eriador, apparently. Um, in battle, we shall try and defeat Chieftain Gazug. And we'll do that now. Yes, my lord. Straight in, let's we finally cleanse engage. the land of the taint begun by the Witch King. Continued on by his servants now in his wake. I believe the Misty Mountains and Imladris are embroiled in a long war for Imladris. And this is a threat because Imladris still have a standard family tree. Elrond and then Eladan and Elrahir. And unfortunately Imladris are very fond of putting all three of those generals in a single army and sending it to its death. And it often results in Imladris getting wiped out. But then that's not too much of a problem. They do only usually have one province. It looks like it's raining to me. Yes, it is. Let's roll the dice once more. Come on, gods of fate. Oh. They've not been on our side. And here is the dwarven castle of Litash, rising like a volcanic spur from the ocean of grass around it. It is quite an imposing cathedral castle, cathedral I was going to say then, but it's very simple to attack although it is very fun uh, this is courtesy of leo.civil.uefs and he has made more custom settlements for this mod than I think anyone else um, and his work is incredible you are indeed welcome to play um, if you like the vanilla game a lot you can play um, the vanilla game with just Leo's custom settlements. He has his own mod which just adds the settlements. So if you wish to do that <coughs> you can indeed. <coughs> right, we're going to try and kill Gazug's army before it makes it to the walls of Litash. Now, this is a bit of a gamble for reasons because <clears throat> the enemy might come in in this corner or they might come in up on the side here. Now if they come up the side there we have got a real issue on our hands because we're going to have to scramble to try and counter them. However if they come in down this side then we'll be able to crush them before they're even a threat to the battlefield. The enemy yes! So now we wait as the enemy army crosses the line of the map our arrows will immediately begin peppering them. The last chieftain, I believe, is in this army, along with their last throes of a chance to stay alive. Men of Ruadar who have not yet repented, seen the light and joined us. 
are still fighting with the forces of Angmar. As you can see, they're going to come in quite wide, so these cavalry will actually be used, whereas the cavalry on this side likely won't. So, <coughs> I can't cover that gap, but there we are. Shift everyone around a bit. They will probably not fight us. The chances are they will completely ignore us and try and make a break directly for the castle itself. I can't believe I forgot to turn them off with fire arrows. Fire arrows are so useless! Yes, they do more damage to armor, and yes, they have a morale, um, negative morale effect, but they also fire so slowly that that's all irrelevant. The enemy will reach you by the time you've even got two volleys off, whereas normal arrows fire a lot faster, so. Speed it up a bit. Get to your positions, men. Interesting to note that our ground units are not particularly incredible. We've got three units of Dunedine Warders in there actually, but we've also got 57 lumbermen, local militia, and um, a depleted force of Cardellani. But they are ignoring us, so you can charge in there, please. Charge in there, please. As you can see, they are completely trying to break through. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. And trying to ignore us. So we'll do what we can to try and counter that. <coughs> we'll let the cavalry get back, because cavalry are useless. In cities, cavalry are useless, especially in the small cramped castle that we are fighting against. And with their insistence to try and just run through our lines. Well, if they are so desperate on running through our lines, actually, let's just let them. while the infantry keep them engaged. Let's get our archers out of there. What's the situation? Are they turning to fight? It looks a bit like they are turning to fight. Speed it up a bit and see what happens. No, I'm not really sure. They're running around all over the place. <coughs> not decided the whether bloody. they're attacking us or they fleeing. Have lost half their men. No, they have lost a lot, though. Oh, well, we'll keep up the fire. Oh, yeah, look, these guys have turned and have attacked us. So, moving the archers out probably wasn't the best idea. But in almost every battle I've ever fought that goes like this, this army will completely ignore you. They'll just push through you like a battering ram, and they'll head straight for the enemy castle. But clearly this time they have not done that. They are actually fighting us. But we can get a charge in on the bodyguards there, that'll be good. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. <clears throat> you are completely surrounding and outnumbering them. Why are you not killing them faster? Where are the Michelin captains? Get that. Lead this. Have you used all your arrows? No, you have not. Oh no, where's the general? There he is. They're dying off my arrow fire. Oh, they're getting slaughtered. Turn it off for time six. <coughs> Turn it back on. Ah, solid charge. It's broken Hillman. Well, I mean, it's not yet broken them, but it is likely to. How are you doing, Gandalf? Dying. 
pull your men out. The battle is very much in our favor. Now hit the young my bodyguards. Square in the back. Don't really need either of you anymore, so make your way away. A few units that they've got left can be dealt with for what we've got down here. We've lost almost all of our ground units, but we have defeated the larger army. 17 bodyguards remain. Oh, someone's completely died. Lost a unit. Gandalf will now deal with their leader. And our defences will deal with what remains. Just waiting for the faction leader to die so that everyone will break and run away, but... The enemy general lies dead. Yeah. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. And there we are. That was what we were hoping for. Who is still alive? Anyone still alive is now running back to the castle where they are getting shot by archers. All right. So we line up. What's the castle defences like? They're all over there, they're not even on the walls. Alright, so we're going to get archers to go on the walls then. So if you can get that tower please, that tower, that tower, get the ladder, get the ladder. And you're on that ladder, thank you very much. 59 of you can be our ram. You lot can come back, and if you can start firing, we'll just start firing you soon. We won't run them, so apologies while we go through the slow section whereby they all stroll over toward Litash. If you are wondering, Litash is not founded in any factual canonical basis. Uh, there's no record of a dwarven castle here, there's no mention of an Angmar bastion here. Very little is known about the lands between Mount Graham. Indeed, the location of Mount Graham is not even really known. Um, and the small sort of valley, as it were, that is created by the spur of Mount Graham as it carves away from the Misty Mountains in the north. And that, um, that s almost like eddy that is created behind it, um, is there's not much known about that at all. But we can fairly assume that it's maybe um, a reasonable heartland area for Angmar, given the fact that it is sheltered from the rest of Eriador quite substantially by this spur, mountain spur. Right, we have arrived. So, to the walls. Can you even mount towers on these walls? <laughs> now I see why the Dwarven Castle is so good. You cannot mount the walls. Oh, Leo, you cheeky bastard. This explains much, because originally I was thinking this is meant to be a dwarven castle, and yet it is just as easy to take as anything else. But, as you can see, the reason a dwarven castle apparently is strong is because there is no way to climb the walls without breaking down the gate and then climbing them from the inside. So, that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, you can run. Oh, it's because I've turned you off of time six, haven't I? We've got quite a few archers. That's um, all of you. Drop your siege equipment. It's all completely useless. But we will try and get on the walls, and then we'll try. Then we'll get the towers for a start, and then we can start raining fire down on the enemy. Just as soon as they get the battering ram. I don't want to kill archers. Like get the arrow towers to focus on these men. If indeed the arrow towers will even fire, you have to station men near them for them to be for them to work. But we'll find out. We will soon see. It's possible that there might be dwarven related paraphernalia in the north, but whilst Durin the Deathless, Durin the original Durin, awoke at um, Mount 
good to bad. He didn't build or settle anything there, and he strolled south, and that's where he built Moria or Khazad-dum and his mansions down there. So, whilst Gundabad was where he awoke, and if the dwarves have anything akin to a spiritual sort of religion, they would likely see his awakening point as a pilgrimage spot. There's nothing else there. There's no city or anything, which is why I like the custom settlement that Battering we use in currently in DAC for Gundabad, which is... That it's not an actual city. It's just a. It's just a ramp up to two large dwarven statues, and that's it. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. All right. Oh, the arrow towers. They are countering us completely. Go into that formation and attack. It'll run because those spear militia are going to get completely trounced. Lumberman! We're not going to break through here. Our army is almost entirely archers. Throw everything that we can at this gateway. We must kill Agmar. Now oh, we're getting slaughtered. Slaughtered. There's nothing to do with it. We can't send the archers in because they'll just get massacred. If we can break enough through here, then we can climb those walls and rain hell down on them because they are our biggest threat. They will churn through most of our archers if we leave them unchecked. Oh, you're not doing the arc fire, are you? Yes, you are. Fools. Absolute fools. Shoot the trackers. Try and break them with Gandalf. Here he comes. We've captured the enemy's walls. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yes, break through, break through. Surround the guardians. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Right, try and run people in now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Climb the walls, you slow bastards. Oh dear, we have not got time for this at all. I've only just looked at the clock. <laughs> Whoops. Alright then. Old school formation. Let's do it. Kill everyone you can. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Who have they got left? 51 bodyguards and 219 snagger stalkers. Gandalf, I don't think, has lost anyone since charging in the gate, although he's just lost someone then. Fire! Kill everything you can. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Let the arrows. We're going to use every arrow we've got. Gandalf, what are you doing? If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Archers. Only half our force remains. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break Come on, everyone. his army. Gotta kill a hundred in a minute. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. The enemy general fled. Our men are in command of the castle. That's no good, we need to kill them, we've got 40 seconds. Oh, 
that one general. He fled a moment ago. Time makes a useful ally. Oh, you're joking! You're so joking! And together they have come away victorious. But only just. Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. Who thought of this stupid system? Oh, good lord. And now Gandalf's going to get knocked away. He's lost a thousand men and they're going to regroup. Rally to me, men! Oh, the chief of Angmar's dead, though. Oh, brilliant. Bring yeah, joy. Great. Your order, Bloody your ridiculous! Order. I'm going to stick you! High Chieftain Rad... Rathur... Radher... Radher, as he's orcish. Is scum! And I will say nothing more about it. I shall not even sully my speech with the very mention my of his Lord. name. Disgusting filth. We will crush him with extreme prejudice when possible. Yes, my lord. However, for now, oh, I shall oh, end the lord. video again as um, I try to keep them reasonable length. I try to keep them the length that I would like them to be were I to have breakfast or have lunch while watching them. Um, so that's what I take as a basis if you're interested. In the next video, I shall destroy Litash. We shall kill he who shall not be named. And we have done Lorac will fall, so do stay tuned for that. But for now, thank you very much for watching indeed, if indeed you have. Feel free to subscribe, should you wish to. Um, I hope to, as I am now falling into this pattern of doing Let's Play videos at the weekend. But as you will see this week, then, um, I will have done four videos this weekend. So they'll go throughout the week. And a Let's Play on a Thursday. Uh, not a Let's Play, sorry, a Faction Overview on a Thursday. Although, as I say each time, again, we are now getting down into the lower numbers of faction overviews, and they will soon come to an end. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Navarra, Naden, Pedimad, Melanin, and farewell.